Hey guys, Methusan United here. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today is Monday, July the 24th. And right now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually at the Black Bridge area right now. You yeah, see, there's the trailers behind me here. Uh, yeah, I just decided to do a little walk at the Black Bridge area right now. Uh, I know I told you guys that I was going to hang out with Dustin today, but I think Dustin's at his sister's house today, so I'm not sure if we're going to hang out. So I figured I'll just do a video here at the Black Bridge area by myself. Um, so yeah. But I hope you guys are having a good day today. Let me know in the comments down below and let me know how your day is going so far. So like I said, my day is okay. And I'm going to give you guys a little walk through the forest. I'm going to walk through the Black Bridge area for you guys. Uh, show you guys uh, how it is now. Because I actually haven't done a video here at the Black Bridge area in a little while. It, it, it's definitely been a bit since me and Dustin last, or at least I have been, done a video here. Yeah, it's definitely been a good amount of time since I last did a video here. And looks like the plants are getting a little taller now, or bigger, since the last time I was here. Because I know one of the last times I was here was the day before my birthday, so that was May 24th, so I was like exactly two months ago. And back, back, back when I came here in May, the day before my birthday, the plants were a little smaller. Well, then again, they, they were still growing, like they were already starting to go out this way, but like when I, when I was here the day before my birthday in May, they were definitely shorter a little bit. But now that we're back here, it's definitely a little taller now. So, yeah. We're just passing by the truck trailers, you guys. Hey. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog I made uh, yesterday. Uh, if you guys haven't seen yesterday's vlog, uh, the link to it will be in the description down below. Uh, yeah, yesterday I went to my cousin's house, and I was walking to my cousin's house from there. And it was hot. Like, yesterday it was hot, you guys. <laughs> like, no. Although last night, like when I left my cousin's house, well, my parents dropped me off at Tim Horns after, but I walked around from there. Yeah, oh, guys, look, there's a squirrel right there. Huh. But yeah, my parents, uh, they dropped me off after I left my uh, cousin's house. And But like when I was walking around after, it was actually a little cooler because, well, it was starting to get dark out and, you know, the sun was going down. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, it was okay. Yesterday was a good day. We had some, we had a good time yesterday. Um, yeah, today I just wanted to do a little video for you guys at the Black Bridge area. This is probably just gonna be a short video, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> and today's actually pretty nice out today. You can probably tell, well, with all the trees, but it actually is pretty sunny out today. And it is pretty warm outside. Like I think it's like maybe 27 degrees outside. It's actually not bad. It's like 27. It's kind of like as hot as yesterday. It's still pretty hot out, but yeah. Um, yeah, now we're on the main pathway, you guys. This is the, the pathway that goes to the boat. Uh, maybe if I, if I do, or if I can, uh, I will take some pictures of the boat for you guys and put them on my Instagram. I am taking some pictures of here right now, but yeah. And it looks like there's a log here that must have got knocked down by a storm. I wonder if it got knocked down by the storm we had on Thursday, last week, <laughs> maybe. But yeah, it's pretty nice around here, yeah. It's definitely been a minute since I've been here. It's definitely been a little bit. Um, there's a few things I want to talk to you guys in today's vlog, um, but I am going to pause the video soon anyways, in a sh like shortly, to take some pictures and all that, then I'll continue it once we're a little closer to the boat, or if I... Or if I do end up going to the boat or something like that, I'll continue and I'll let you guys know. But if not, then I'll just turn around and I'll tell you guys that if I'm not. So, yeah. But yeah, it's pretty nice. And over there across the river, you guys can probably tell, there's the Thames Grove Conservation Area. That's like the boat ramp. Yeah. And I'm going to try and make it quick here because I don't want to get bit by too many mosquitoes. Because there are a lot of mosquitoes around here and I... Don't want to get bit too much or get too many mosquito bites so yeah but i'm gonna pause the video for now you guys and i'm gonna get a thumbnail first all right i'll pause the video for now you guys and i'll talk to you guys in a little bit okay guys uh never mind i'm not gonna go to the boat uh, i was actually walking down that trail where like all the tall plants are and there are so many mosquitoes over there i was like yep nope going nope nope i'm turning around nope <laughs> i'm not getting bit by a lot i'm not gonna get constantly bit by mosquitoes and then have be itchy later. I'm not gonna do that. So 
Yeah, that's why I decided to turn around and go back. So, yeah. So, sorry guys, I guess I'm not going to the boat then. Oh man. It's really crazy coming here in like the middle of July when like, or no, technically we're at the end of July now, but I mean like middle of summer. But yeah, it's definitely really crazy when we're here in like the middle of summer and like, you know, since it's the end of July, you know, there are going to be a lot of mosquitoes out. It's going to be a little better coming here in the fall, like in October when like there won't be as much bugs around and it won't be as hot. So yeah. And the plants won't be as tall because they'll start drying up for the fall and winter. So yeah. But you know, since it's the end of July and we're in the middle of summer, that's when the plants are at their tallest and that's when there's a lot of bugs and mosquitoes and all that. So I'm like, yeah, nope, turning around. But at least I got to come here for a little bit and walk around. Yeah, if there weren't so many mosquitoes, I probably would have went to the boat and took, a, took some pictures there. But no, there isn't, so yeah. I'm probably just going to go to the bridge. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out my way back to the truck trailers. <clears throat> yeah, so we're just going to walk through here on this little pathway here. But yeah, you can hear something going on across the river. It's like someone's like using the machinery or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today is that apparently a uh, letter bomb played at Rip Fest in Leamington yesterday. But unfortunately, this is gonna. This is actually their last show for at least for a little while because. Apparently, uh, I'm friends with the bassist of Letterbomb, uh, Dylan. He told me, he texted me yesterday, or last night, and he told me that their drummer Cameron doesn't really want to play live anymore, so basically they're going to not play shows for a little while, and technically speaking that <coughs> they're going to be going on another hiatus for at least for a little while. <coughs> and when he told me that, I was like, oh really? You guys are probably gonna take a break or at least you know not be active for a little while damn that sucks but yeah so apparently uh letter bomb show in leamington yesterday was their last show at least probably for a little while hopefully maybe they can come back and play shows at least maybe like next year or something like that hopefully they'll only be off hopefully this hiatus only lasts until like next year or something like that because if if they do decide to play shows again or at least if the drummer decides to play shows again next year and Letterbomb plays at like Ripfest in Chatham or something like that or even like anywhere in Chatham then that'd be good so hopefully that this hiatus they're on right now hopefully it doesn't last like very long like hopefully it, it'll be hopefully I just I just hope that Letterbomb will be back for next year you know and it's crazy because Letterbomb reunited last year and they played their first show since like 2014 or 2015, or no, 2018. Sorry, uh, last year, last year, Letterbomb performed their first concert since 2018 at Crowfest at the park, and uh, and they played at Rims and Ribs in, at the park this year, and they played at Leamington Rib Fest this year. So, and and they played at the Coenna Theater for the CK Rock and New Year's on New Year's Eve last year. So. Since their, re since their reunion last year, Letterbomb's only played four shows. And now, Letterbomb is back on hiatus, at least for a little while, until, you know, maybe if Cameron changes his mind and he wants to play live again. But we'll see. Like I said, I just hope this hiatus Letterbomb is on doesn't last too long, and hopefully maybe Letterbomb comes back next year and plays shows like at Ripfest or something like that, or, some or something like that, but yeah. However, Dylan's actually starting as uh, a new band. Uh, the bassist Dylan's actually starting a new band, a punk, pop punk alternative band. He's starting a new band. I, I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but he told me that he's going to be starting a backup band. Uh, so yeah, at least uh, at least uh, at least there's going to be a new band at least for now. While Brent is going to stick to doing his one man band thing for a while. Well, even if Letterbomb does come back, like if they, if Letterbomb decides to come back, uh, Brendan will still do his one-man band, but you know, just for now, uh, Dylan's going to be 
you know, working on his new band and Bren's going to be working as his one man band until, you know, they decide to do shows as Letterbomb again, like hopefully next year or something like that or 2025, but you know, so yeah, it's like one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is that apparently Letterbomb is back on hiatus for a little while and that their bassist Dylan is going to start a new band and Bren's going to stick to his one man band career. So yeah, but like I said, hopefully Letterbomb comes back either next year or 2025, depending on depending on you know what they want to do and all that. So yeah, I just hope that Letterbomb at least comes back next year. I really hope Letterbomb comes back and this hiatus doesn't last too long. Like hopefully it only lasts for like at least a year or, or a few months or something like that. But yeah. And also guys, uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is about my band. So. Apparently, uh, yesterday, I found out that there's already a band called Greed, and they have a Spotify and everything. So now, I'm thinking I need to change the name of my band, because since there's already a band called Greed, I can't have my band called Greed at the same time. Like, it just wouldn't make sense, right? And so, I t I'm, t I was I'm trying to talk to Dustin about it, telling him that there's already a band under the name Greed, and that I think we should change it. He hasn't gone back to me yet, but... Yeah. If, uh, do you guys remember when my band name used to be Electric Glow? Do you guys remember when my band name was Electric Glow? Yeah, honestly, I'm kind of considering of using... I'm kind of considering of naming our band Electric Glow again because... You know, I thought about it and I was like, well, Electric Glow is actually kind of a cool name. And, you know, it would be a good name for a band. And I did my research and there is no band out there called Electric Glow, so... I think I, I think maybe we can name our I th so I was thinking maybe we can name our band Electric Glow. Electric Glow is a good band. Like it's a good name, honestly. Like I can see our band being Electric Glow. I want to talk to Dustin about it though, see if he wants to do it, because yeah, I really think we should get a new name, and I think Electric Glow is probably our best option at this point. So yeah, and hopefully Dustin agrees. Hopefully Dustin is down for it, and. And if he, if he agrees and he's down with our name being Electric Glow, then yeah, our band will be officially Electric Glow. So, yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm trying to figure that out right now. So, yeah. But I'll let you guys know in another vlog uh, by the time we reveal our band's official name. Even though we had to do plenty of band name changes for a long time. I really hope that this, this, this name change is the last one we'll do. I really hope it is. I really hope it will be. Because honestly, I think Electric Glow is our really best option. Like, Electric Glow sounds like a really cool band name. So I'm hoping me and so I'm hoping Dustin is a. Well, I really hope Dustin will agree to, to changing our band name to Electric Glow or back to Electric Glow because that's what we used that name before. But you know, but hopefully that. But honestly, at this point, like I think Electric Glow is kind of sticking. Like, Electric Glow is kind of sticking. Like, Electric Glow is kind of a cool name for a band. So. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. I'm gonna pause the video again. I'll probably talk to you guys one more time, like if we're at like the pines or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more. I will. I will take the bus home, and I will have dinner and all that, and I'll probably walk around later. But by the time you guys see this vlog, it'll definitely be before at least midnight tonight. Cause I know a lot. Cause I know yesterday's vlog I didn't upload till like later last night. So I promise this video will be up before uh, it gets dark out tonight. So. Yeah, I'll pause the video again, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so now I'm at UCC. Yeah, see there's the high school behind me here. Uh, yeah, I just walked to UCC from the Blackbridge area. I walked down 4th Street, and then I came here and all that. So yeah. And yeah, it actually is pretty hot outside. Like, it actually is 27 degrees. I, I checked my phone, and it apparently is 27. So I was right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just hanging out here for right now. Just standing under here. It's like a little shady spot. I am probably going to go back home later to go get something to eat. Uh, I want to see if I can try and catch the bus home, like number four bus. But I don't have data right now, so I can't really check the app. And plus, there's no Wi-Fi here, like free Wi-Fi. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I can try and check the hospital. I can, I can probably connect to the hospital's Wi-Fi and check. But, yeah. So I'll try and do that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go home and uh, get something to eat. And I'll also edit this video and edit the thumbnail for this vlog. And I'll get this video up for you guys. So, yeah. But I promise you guys we'll see this video before it gets dark out today. So, yeah. But I hope you guys did enjoy this little video. 
I just wanted to do a little short vlog for you guys. Uh, like I said, next time I'll probably do a video will probably be Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, if Mia doesn't hang out tomorrow, I'm not going to vlog tomorrow, so yeah. I just want to let you guys know that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet around here. It's like pretty nice. It's, yeah, it is Monday, so it is a quiet day in Chatham. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. Uh, you know, I'm just going to end the vlog here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the bell on. If you guys want to check out yesterday's vlog, the link to it will be description down below. And if you guys want to check out all the other vlogs I uploaded recently, the link to it will be description down below. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram and my TikTok. The links will be in the description down below. Go check out my band Instagram, my band TikTok. The links will be in the description down below as well. And go check out my Ruffman channel. The link to it will be in the description down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.